What's going on, Goofy Gamers? I'm here with McCoy Briscoe, man. And what'd you do this weekend? Top with Mikanko. Oh, let's get into it. All right, so we got the three Ohimes, of course, staple of the deck. She searches everything out the deck. She's just great. Um, saved me a lot, of course. We got the one Nini. She's good in the grind game. Comes out the deck later on. You, uh, you get to take people's monsters. She's good. The two RAs. She is your search of the deck. Three is a bit excessive. Two is just uh, just enough, in my opinion. But the best card of the deck, in my personal opinion, is the three Hoolies. Okay, so this is pure, right? This is go second. Um, she makes so that you can play the deck, right? Because just these guys won't. These guys, she is, she, she's just good, she's good. Because you can't target her. Um, the majority of the, the meta is targeting, so. Then of course, the Kaiju package. Four Kaijus, you don't play the Fire Kaiju, why? Because Fire King's in the format, they're just gonna, if you Kaiju on their board, they're gonna trigger it off and pop your monster, so, if you don't have her on board, so. No Gamma Seal? No Gamma Seal, Gamma Seal's not needed. It's weaker attack, you wanna put as much attack um, on this side of the board as possible to um, get that OTK off. All right. For the spells, two Slumber, um, of course, whole board gets wiped away. Three pot of extravagance. You don't care about your extra deck. Uh, game one. Is that a mishmash set? It is. That's crazy. It, it, it was a quick, <laughs> a, a quick thing. Um, you don't care about the extra deck. Game one. Um, you just care about getting max resources. Um, you don't really care about draw for the most part. Your whole deck is to break the board. So you, you have the piece in your hand already. Three hidden armory. Best spell card in the deck. This gives you access to everything in your armory, of course, right? So you have every equip spell in your deck. This gives you access to. If you open up two of these, you don't win. Your ass. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> you, you, you can cut that out if you want, but if you open up two of these, you don't win. You, I don't know what to tell you. you this one right here is always going to be your double-edged sword. This one is probably going to be whatever mechanical card you need um, at the time. Uh, three prep. Search Ohime. One duster. You get it off the thrust, of course. Also, you get these off thrust. One game I opened up. Uh, I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> one snatch, one snatch still, um, broken. Just came off the ban list. Great card. You get it. You, you you could easily search it off the armory, and the OTK, of course. Double edged sword. Now, for, those, for those who don't know, what is uh what does double edged sword do? So double edged sword, um, your opponent takes any damage that you would take. So with these guys, you swing, you crash into their monster, they take the damage. But when double edged, when double edged sword is equipped to a monster. When you swing with them, you're supposed to take the damage, but because this is equipped, um, sorry, but because of their effect, you take my damage. So if your monster's 3k, I boost it up to 5k because it's giving 2,000 attack, you're going to take 10k. Ah. Um, let's get this out the way. Let's get these out the way. Two Acts of Fools. This is your Imperm. Um, search it off the armory if you need to, because for the most part, again, your hand is to break the board, so you're going to have the pieces already. If there's something that you want to handle real quick, uh, Acts of Fools, this does not activate, so if you equip this onto a Noir, um, they can activate the effect. Same thing with Snatch Still, if you equip it on Noir, they can't activate effects. One Rondo, this is your grab. It's three grabs in the deck now. You have Nini, Rondo, and Snatch Still. Before it was just Nini and Rondo, now you have Snatch Still, which is three grabs. One Fire Dance, broken, you get to reborn. If you're facing cash, um, you go, okay, so I can tell you guys. I open up this with um, Thrust. He made me go first. I um, did my plays, he ashed me. I went Fire Dance, summoned out um, Hare, reborn his ash, um, used Thrust, get Tactics, Tactics, look at his hand, rip the pot. He was sitting on ash the whole game. I was just <laughs> killing him. So, you know, Thrust with uh, Fire Dance is broken. Two of the green equip, this one's broken. Um, a lot of people, when they were playing the Go First version, I was watching a lot of, like, videos on it, um, YCS's. They didn't use the second effect. This card is actually broken. It has the reborn aspect of it, but it also has a battle effect where you get to bounce any card on the field, right? So you swing, uh, bounce. Uh, and most people, they can't out your board, so, so they're gonna try to Zeus you. At the end of that battle, they're gonna swing, take damage, and then you're gonna go effect, bounce. Like, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this card's great. And mm -hmm. the best equipped in the deck. Water Ab, this one gets you to any Mechanko inside the deck, right? So you equipped it on any monster on the board, activate effect, bounce the monster, and then 
especially something to make Hanko. And then plus off that. So this is great. This card, Ceremony's Broken. Um, activate special summon ritual or any mechanical, and then you get to banish this card from your graveyard, send any mechanical card to um, the graveyard. Sometimes you go search with Ohime, you dump a mechanical, let's say you dump Hare, and then um, you search this, special summon her, um, and this goes to the graveyard, banish this, get green, green, bring this back, and you get the effect. So, just really good. Um, a lot of people don't play Spirit Walk. This is, sorry, four grabs in the deck, Spirit Walk. Um, this lets you take any monster um, on their side of the field and equip it to a mechanical card, and then you get their effects, because when a mechanical is equipped, you get an effect. So, um, actually, the whole day, I actually, on my opponent's turn, I never activated an effect. My, I, for some reason, I hate Thrust. I mean, sorry, I hate Talents um, and Thrust. Um, mechanical Rivalry, this one lets you um, get any um, targeted card, a monster on the field, and equip it with any equip spell. Um, so you can go Rondo, you can go um, Snatch Still, you can go Axe of Fools. This card is just great, but you have to uh, control the Mechanical. Great card. And then if a Equip Spell goes to Graveyard, you get to banish this and then grab any Equip Spell from your Graveyard. So it's really good. Sometimes you go, um, this is engraved, you go Ohime, um, Search and Equip, Send and Equip. Uh, let's say you, you send green and you get to grab anything back. Let's say it's an Axe of Fools or something to get somebody's monster. That's it for the um, Spells and Traps. And then you got extra deck you have two armorage this is for your uh if, if you normal summon and you let's say you um have something to break uh, to break their board but you equip green onto their monster and now their monster goes to grave green goes to grave you normal summon you uh you link it off for your mechanical and then you bring it back with the green crystal so this card's great um two link revo just in case i got every locked again we don't care about the extra deck but you need some pieces just in case some things happen one heater for the format one Dark Charmer for the format um, in case they have, uh, they're playing a fire deck or they're playing um, the um, Wanted Engine. You have these. One SP, Staple, and the Super Poly Package. Ooh. Super Poly Package. Adding Nister, Garua, Mud Dragon, and Draco. Uh, this is for game two and three. Again, game one, um, you have the Pot of Extravagance. Game two and three, you side out Pot of Extravagance and you put in your Super Polys. Um, smart, smart. And then the XYZs. No Typhon? No, no Typhon. It's not needed. Uh, Typhon's a skill card for me. It's like some decks play it and they don't need to play it. Um, and then the side deck. Really standard. Again, you're going first. So for the most part, you're going to win game one. Game two, they're going to make you go first. And that's when they, they fucked up. Um, two summon limit. The one TC bull, I played a flu player and opened this. He couldn't play. He potted three times. I couldn't see a harpy. So I saw my one up. He didn't see his. It's what it is. Three evenly matched. I never put this card in. Again, you want your battle phase to go off. You should kill them turn one, your first turn. If you don't kill them your first turn, don't play the deck. This deck is the punch and kill. Um, never put this in. This was a, just in case I face lab, but even if I face lab, the only card I care about in the labyrinth is skill drain. But again, you could bounce skill drain with the green equip. So. Never played this, had it, didn't need it. Grave. For some Rescue Ace players, they have the side deck, SPs, they have um, uh, access codes. We don't really care about that, but this is to stop the turbulence play. Um, and then this is also for a Manadium, right? So if you're facing Manadium, they can't do nothing. Any fusion deck, they can't do anything. And Spellbound. Oh, this is also for your Centurion. Spellbound, Centurion, purely. This card was broken. And then lastly, Super Poly. Jeez. Now from the drippiest player in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Got any shout outs? Shout out to Goofy Gaming for doing the deck profile. Shout out to Imperial Gaming, uh, best locals. Um, everybody always tops from Imperial Gaming, definitely. We, yeah, actually, we gotta do a, a locals battle, man. We're, we're the best locals, Imperial. Anyways, um, shout out to um, the gaming space for the mat. Um, definitely shop there for every for all the custom mats. Um, shout out to Will, my teacher. Uh, even though I hate him, he's a really good duelist. Um, shout out to everything. Shout out Min. Shout out jo uh, Joey, Goofy Gaming. Um, shout out Orlando, uh, my teammate. Um, O'Neill, my teammate. And yeah, I mean, show. Sorry. Shout out Rich. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for Goofy Gamers. Remember, stay goofy and stay hydrated. Signing off.